So, hey guys, welcome to Comic Gaming. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell. Comment below, hit the like button, and maybe even share with your friends. Uh, <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again. I'm Shannon, and this week we're going to be taking a look at the Tamashi Buddies Son Goku Dragon Ball Z number 14 uh, vinyl figure, I guess it is. I'm not quite sure. I've never had a Tamashi Buddy before. This is my first. Uh, so I'm just going to call it a vinyl figure since it does seem to be around the same. Uh, type of packaging as the Funko Pops and action vinyls and whatnot. Uh, this is the Sun Goku. My wife and my son got this for me and gave it to me yesterday as an early Father's Day gift because they know I like Dragon Ball Z. Uh, so far this is all the Dragon Ball Z stuff I currently have. Um, <clears throat> for the longest time that Vegeta right there was the only Dragon Ball Z uh, collectible I had and that's from the Android Saga that I got way back in 2001 so he's been on my shelf all this time and then I picked up the uh, Bandai Shoto Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Vegeta as well as the mystery vinyls from Funko you got Frieza and you got Piccolo and then I also got the Super Saiyan Goku and Dragon Ball C Z Battle of the Gods I just watched that for the first time and I really enjoyed it I may do a review on it in the future but that's enough of that let's go back to the Tamashi Buddies Son Goku Dragon Ball Z number 14 as you can see, it is packaged very similarly to the uh, Funko Pops. You got Son Goku peeking up there. On the back, you got, shows you how to display them, build the backgrounds and connect them. And then there's his display on the side. And then once again, you got Son Goku here, which is number 14 and Vegeta which is number 15 then the top there got the Tamashi Buddies logo Son Goku little window there and then the bottom my wife did get him on clearance he was originally $13 and now when she bought him is 10 bucks not bad so let's go ahead and open this guy up and take a look inside as you can see, it is a clamshell packaging, and it does come with, <clears throat> you got the uh, regular background here with his display background. And I think I will display this out of the box. Normally I keep all my uh, Funkos in the box, but this is actually meant to be displayed out of the box, so that's what I'm going to do. And like I said, it is just a clamshell packaging. Um, uh, it does look like it's... Looks like it's taped. I'm not sure what's going on with my phone and why it's acting up the way it is. Uh, it keeps stopping and taking a picture or going to a website or whatever I don't know but it's really acting up on me I don't like it I don't like it one bit uh, let's see there's more tape boy they really don't want you getting into this thing do they there we go
comes with four little posts and the top piece all right so i'm sorry guys once again i had to restart my phone i don't know what's going on with this thing it keeps turning off the video on me i don't know i'm gonna try and bear through it but let's take a look at this guy not bad detail he's doing a little uh he's doing the pelvic thrust <laughs> and it seems like he's made out of a kind of a soft plastic no articulation at all um however it is kind of a soft plastic i wouldn't move it too much because he might break something but not even the head moves it's kind of disappointing doesn't even come off the base but he does have a really good look to him so <clears throat> as you can see here got this orange battle suit with a little uh, crest I believe it's Master Yoshi's crest. Is that right? Once again, guys, I am. I apologize. My phone is still acting up. I can't understand it. It gets to certain points and it goes to a website or something. I don't know what the hell's going on. All right, guys. Once again, I have no clue what is going on with this camera or with this phone. Uh, it goes to some website and it says listening. And it just, it's really irritating. I can't figure out what's going on with it. I took the phone out of its protective case. Hoping maybe that'll help. So anyway. All right, guys. So this just is not my day. I think I've got it narrowed down to the microphone. For some reason, the microphone jack is acting up. Whatever. I don't know, but... I'm ready to get this review over with. I'm sure you guys are too. And it's not like I can just go back and redo the whole thing because I've already taken it out of the box. So let's go ahead and turn them around and take a look. Got the symbol there on his back. Very nice detail. Not bad. And when comparing him to, say, the action vinyl from uh, Loyal Subjects, he's pretty close in height, just with no articulation. And he feels like he's made out of the same material, same type of plastic. So. And then comparing him in size to Vegeta from the uh, Android Saga uh, toy line, Vegeta is apparently, obviously, a lot bigger. <laughs> uh, but he is about the same size as the Shoto Vegeta. Maybe that Vegeta is just a little bit bigger, but I digress. So let's go ahead and put this guy together. It did come with these little posts. They just kind of snap in. One there. One there. Put this little card here. And then snap the top on. There we go. Not bad. And then you got these other two for when you have, when you get more characters, be able to snap them together. 
I think I'll leave it on there just like that. Just so I don't lose any pieces. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Really wish my mic wasn't acting up. But I'm not sure how much of this you guys can hear. Um, or if you're getting a lot of feedback from the air conditioner, which is right next to me. I apologize for that, guys, but... So anyway... And to compare with a regular Funko Pop, the box itself is just a little bit shorter than a standard Funko Pop, Funko Pop box. Um... And it's just a little bit narrower. Not bad. Uh, however, front to back, it does appear to be bigger. Side to side. Funko Pop is bigger as well as taller, but not by much. Uh, like I said, I think I will display this out of the box because I really think these guys the from uh, Tamashi Buddies are meant to be displayed out of the box. Um, which is why they came with a display stand. So, there you have it guys. Once again, I apologize for all the problems. This phone has been acting up, and my other cameras are, two of them are night vision, the other one, there's bars on the side to where it's meant for standard uh, TV, standard definition TV, and it's just, I need to invest in better equipment. But, that's going to be a while. So until next time guys, I'm Shannon. For come again, take care and go out and get you guys some collectibles. If you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like, comment below, and share with your friends. <laughs> I hate you.